Like, why are more guys doing this reclaim system if it's, you know, so efficient? If vacuum cooling is a benefit, why does only one manufacturer do it? Now, I can come up with all sorts of answers to that, but the long and the short of it is patents. Nobody has figured out how to get around the patents to build a vacuum cool grain dryer. Have others tried things? Yes, they have. Has anybody else succeeded? No, they haven't. So, what are the benefits and downsides to vacuum cooling? The president of the Matthews company was asked his thoughts of vacuum cooling. He went on to say that vacuum cooling defeats the purpose of mixed flow drying. Any cooling in a grain dryer can crack grain. If you cool the grain too fast in the grain dryer, it will crack grain. It has nothing to do with screens or mixed flow. It has to do with the speed of drying. Why does a mixed flow dry more efficiently? Because it holds twice as much corn as a screen type dryer. Does it dry more evenly? No. The hot and the cold are a different direction in the column versus your screen dryer hot on the inside, cold on the outside. I'm not going to get into that a lot. There are benefits to mixed flow dryers. The vacuum cooling. Is there a downside? There is a savings, according to Matthews Company, up to 10% savings with vacuum cooling. They do it with their tower dryers. They do it with their portable dryers, with some of their portable dryer models. So the whole industry knows vacuum cooling saves, saves fuel. The thing of damaging grain in the screen portion of a vacuum cool mix flow, if anybody who has ever had me teach you how to run your dryer or have worked with you on your dryer, there is a 90% chance that at one point in the conversation, I explain to you the dangers of cooling grain too fast in vacuum cooling. If it's 80 degrees outside, you can close everything up, let about three quarter inch open on your, on your grates, on your louvers, and you can cool that stuff down to ambient temperature, not gonna damage anything. If you're in the North Country and you're drying grain where it's 30 degrees outside, you can damage grain by vacuum cooling. You wanna open your louvers. It's the reason Sukup has adjustable louvers on their dryers. You wanna open the louvers and keep that grain up somewhere between 70 and 80 degrees on your discharge temperature. You don't wanna pull that down much below 70 because you pull that down to about 50 degrees and you're gonna start noticing cracks. You discharge 30 degree grain out the bottom of your vacuum cool dryer. I don't care if it's a tower dryer or a mix flow. I don't care if it's pressure cool or vacuum cool. If you dump 30, 40 degree corn out the bottom of your grain dryer where you're drying it and then cooling it, you're gonna crack grain. Has nothing to do with whether there's screens in the cooling or mix flow in the cooling. It has to do with how fast the grain is changing temperature. And if you change the temperature too fast, then you're going to have cracked grain. It's that simple. So I hope that answers any questions you had on vacuum cooling. There is fuel savings. Yes, you can damage corn, but you can damage corn in pressure cooling. So. And don't try to do this fancy cooling in the bottom, or maybe you pick up, if you're lucky, 10% efficiency. You're